Your memories, Terry, of the start of Manx Radio? When Manx Radio started, I was working on one of the local newspapers, the Isle of Man Examiner, as a reporter. So I covered the story. I was here on the day the broadcasting started. I can't tell you where the caravan, the radio station, was. They say it's somewhere where there's that very nice bungalow just over there. Uh, and I followed it in my car as it was being hauled on a track behind a tractor from Douglas Harbour, where it had been unloaded from the ship, all the way up here, almost onto the TT course. And uh, with the man who is thought to have been the inspiration of uh, Manx Radio, a member of the House of Keys called Harold Colburn, he was riding on the tractor and he was looking pleased as punch. Never seen a man so happy. Do you think it did change broadcasting, having the, you know, the sort of the breaking of the monopoly of the BBC? It all happened at a time when breaking the BBC's monopoly was very much in the air. Manx Radio sort of got tied up with the same cause as the pirate radio ships, which was why Radio Caroline North came and got anchored at, uh, just off Ramsey. So yes, Manx Radio was right at the heart, a very small part of the heart, but it was right there at the heart of the change in, the, in, in radio broadcasting in Britain. The, ad, the breaking of the BBC monopoly, I'm sorry to say, <laughs> And the, and the advent of commercial radio.